What's good, Internet? I am, once again, the angry philosopher on drugs. A little more pissed off than usual tonight, not the least of which because I have yet another pain-induced headache that's turning into a migraine, and what I really want to do is turn the lights off, put on a blindfold, and wait for fucking death. Possibly even hurry it along, take the entire fucking bottle of Clonidine, wash it down with some good scotch. But no, there are rules about that. So on with the video. I follow two gentlemen on Twitter, and while I don't agree with everything they have to say, I respect both of them as two of the strongest, most consistent voices in Australian politics speaking out against the perpetually offended, outraged, victimhood, feels before reels bullshit that is just infecting Western society like some sort of rampant ass cancer. They are um, Mark Latham and David Lionholm. Apologies if I mispronounced either of those. I'm sure that's the least of your worries if you even get to watch this video or bother to, whatever. They're having a bit of a tiff at the moment. I don't know who started it. I don't give a shit. My problem is I shouldn't be seeing it. Okay? You pair are regularly appearing in people's news feeds talking about how we need to sit down discuss things rationally, stop getting pissed off at each other, and here you are airing your dirty laundry for the entire goddamn world to see. Knock it the fuck off. Look, I will personally pledge the next bit of spending money I have to hiring out a quiet lounge somewhere and the best bottle of scotch my pissant money can buy so you pack and sit down and talk shit out. We'll get a third party to fucking moderate it. I don't care. See what Miranda or Gray Connolly or Claire Lemon or shit. Let's get Rita Panahi up in here and help you guys sort out your issues without the whole fucking world having to see your dirty underwear. Now, this is... You guys have the opportunity to be the microcosm of Australian culture that you seem to be wanting to defend so passionately. To sit down, put your emotion aside, and actually get to the root issues without name-calling and all that other bullshit. Okay? Look, you guys can pave the way for a new Australian culture. I have an idea. I want to float it by both of you and everyone else who happens to see this, okay? We're going to launch a new political movement called the Coalition of United National Trustees. Winner. Not just a joke, though. Because a coalition, you don't have to form one political party. You can bring in everyone from the Australian Democrats, uh, maybe even the, the Christian Democrats, go grab Corey Bernardi and the Australian Conservatives. You all agree on a bunch of basic principles you know, this party can still be focused on one principle over the other and the other party can be vice versa, but you come together and that's the second word, united, okay? You're united by common themes, common principles and the idea that we shouldn't be slinging shit at each other across social media, we should be sitting down and talking. National? Well, yeah, nationalism is not a bad thing and I'm sure you both agree on that. I know some dickhead out there is going to be like, oh, eth white nationalism. No, not white nationalism, not any sort of ethnocentrism, na nationalism, just nationalism, okay? The many races that come, we are one, but we are many, and from all the lands on earth we come, okay? All the different cultures that have come together into the one melting pot that is Australian culture, okay? We live on the country. What other culture in the world lives on an island that is home to most of the deadliest plants and animals in the world and went, yeah, fuck that. We'll see all your killer creatures and we'll raise you one. We'll raise you the bogan. We created our own deadly class. How good is that? And trustees, look, 
this isn't our country, this isn't our culture, this isn't our planet. We inherited it from those who came before us, and we're holding it in trust for those who come afterwards. So, I don't normally use this word, but it seems appropriate for the Coalition of United Trustees. Why don't you pair, just be a pair of good cunts, sit down and talk it out. I'm going to go do that blindfold thing now. I'm not going to overdose on clonidine because, God damn it, oh, that the Lord has not set his cannon against self-slaughter. Thank you, Shakespeare. But I'm sure someone will do or say something stupid in the next day or two, and I'll be back to have a good old rant about it and explain why the logic's fucked up. So I'll see you then.